All right, good, good, beautiful. It's been an honor and a rewarding challenge to work on the Chihuly Sanctuary with the Fred and Pamela Buffett Cancer Center team. Dale Chihuly, in my mind, is really one of the great artists Fabulous. of the last 50, 100 years. He is incredibly creative. And he, he always has ideas and he's always thinking about what his next project is or what it might be. And Dating back several years ago, Walter Scott asked us over dinner in Omaha um, if there was anything that Dale had always wanted to do that he hadn't been able to do. And we were just about finished with dinner, and it was just a wonderful dinner, and uh, Mr. Scott said to Mr. Chihuly, Dale, if there's one thing you want to do with your life that you haven't done, what would that be? Uh, and uh, Mr. Chihuly thought about it for a minute and said, I want to build a chapel. Walter looked at me with his eyes as <laughs> bright as they can be, and he said, you know, maybe we ought to do something about that. Mr. Scott is, is somebody who knows how to make things happen. He certainly is a devotee of uh, Dale Trujillo's art. And he understood that not only could a chapel really transform not just the cancer center, but the entire academic medical center here at Nebraska Medicine and UNMC, but could be a model, could be a template for other parts of the country and other parts of the world. With the background in architecture, I've always been interested in space and light. I've been visiting glass houses since the 1960s, and I thought this type of structure would be an appropriate extension of the Healing Garden, part of the Healing Arts program. My goal is to provide clear views into the Healing Garden and to create a space for caregivers, researchers, and patients to meditate or to find a moment of peace. As an allopathic physician, of course, you've got your radiology and your surgery and your chemotherapy, and you probably need those. But really, the body can heal itself. The body's cells are normal cells, and they want to reproduce themselves normally, and you have to do something to give it a balance so that it can heal itself. And that's where your art and your prayer and your spirituality comes in. And I think it's a vital importance. It has to be there. I hope the sanctuary becomes a gathering spot and respite for those patients that are not able to go outside and enjoy the gardens. It's about evoking those positive emotions um, in, in individuals, whatever those emotions are that help them with situations that they're in, with, uh, uh, with problems that they're facing, or with ideas that they're struggling with. One of the main installations I'm including is a Fiore garden from my Mili Fiore series, which means 1,000 flowers in Italian. Fiore garden has examples from almost every series that I've ever created. I've seen the teamwork in producing uh, those pieces together. It is an absolute beauty of choreography. Yeah, that's a nice one. I put a couple of just some more connections just to stabilize it because it's taller. So there, there are those parallels and, and you know the excellence that goes into that work, um, certainly the, the courage to try something different and, and we'll see some things within the Chihuly Sanctuary that have never been seen before. Um, and Dale has had the courage and uh, the innovation to put those uh, things together and, and certainly we want inspiration uh, in the Fred and Pamela Buffett Cancer Center and I think the Chihuly Sanctuary will provide that. Certainly, if you look at the Chihuly Sanctuary, it is truly an iconic piece. It has so many components and so many thoughtful elements throughout the sanctuary that it really provides inspiration and thought. I think the central cone piece where you have this, these impressive, almost angelic type pieces really call you to be inspired wherever you are. If you're a patient, if you're a researcher, if you're a clinician, I think it means different things to different peoples at different time in their lives. The design of the building features a wave-like exterior, which is a nod to my Machia series. There's also an accent color on the exterior of the building, chartreuse, which is one of my favorite colors. As the project developed, 
I'd say Dale, on several occasions, changed the size, the shape, the form of the structure and, and changed what he was going to put in each one of them. I was so taken by the idea of how the sanctuary could help people that I was inspired to develop a new series that is shown here for the first time. I call it glass on glass. When lit, these pieces come to life as multi-dimensional paintings in color, light, and glass. We'll have to see what, how we're going to sort them out when we show them. But like those two there go together pretty well. Part of what makes this nice is that those fronds are kind of wide. Yeah, we'll bring you another panel and we'll give you the purple. purple. Beautiful color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you, you know what might look good on this one on the left? A nice beautiful red dot in the middle of each flower. Just a dot. So I saw the, the painting studio that Dale Juhuli started to go into on Saturday mornings to paint and testing out every single aspect of not only the design, but the shadowing of the different panes of glass behind it to give it three-dimensional depth. The purple behind, we'll have to do on a second sheet of glass. With or without flowers? No, no, no flowers. Just no flowers. Yeah. So we need to do the second, the second layer? Yeah. Dale continually comes up with unique ways of uh, working with glass and, and being able to exhibit in an artistic manner that's completely different than anybody else. He's been thinking about this for a year now and trying to create a new art form in a structure that is brand new at this level of his career, which gave me a lot of insight because, uh, again, as a physician scientist, being in this field for a long time, it's nice to know that uh, even an experienced individual can look at things differently and create something new. He, he has a unique way of, of understanding space. So the, just the shape of the sanctuary, the way it, it covers between the second and fourth floor, the way it connects to the healing garden, the use of the roof surfaces. It just fits into what I would call an immersive environment. It's not like walking through a museum as many of these beautiful collections are hung and displayed. This is the whole environment. It's the shape of the rooms. It's the texture of the glass walls. It's the covering of the floor. It's down to the grain patterns in the handrails. Uh, it all is part of the experience. And so I think it will be, it will transform people. It will uh, not just allow them to reflect, but, but frankly transform them, uh, at least for a brief moment in time, into a different place. And, uh, and, and that's, I think, what he is trying to create here. And I think that's the reason we're so interested in, in this partnership. I'm very fond of the city of Omaha and was fortunate to show my work at the Jocelyn Museum of Art. I'm proud that the Chihuly Sanctuary is now a permanent part of the Healing Arts Program at the Fred and Pamela Buffett Cancer Center. I think it will be a place where, uh, you know, you, you, you can go and sit and enjoy not only Dale's work, but I think you can sit and enjoy yourself. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and it's a place where you, you don't have to talk. You can think. So that gets pretty close to a religious experience. <laughs>